Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Kristen. Today we're going to be creating a do-it-yourself Mason Bee House. The Mason Bee House we're going to be building today is a project for all ages. Sienna, our three-year-old daughter, will be helping us later. You can find lots of designs for constructing your own Mason Bee House online. The one we're going to be building today is a very simple design and you can make it with reusing common household items. Before we begin our craft, I wanted to share some basics on who we're building our houses for. The mason bees use mud or other masonry products in constructing their nests. They build their nests in hollow reeds or holes in the wood. These holes are made by wood boring insects. But how are mason bees different than European honeybees? Well, for one, mason bees don't make honey. But they do pack a punch with the pollination skills. Mason bees make it possible for plants to set seed and reproduce, for fruit trees and berries to increase their yield, and for flowers to bloom with color. Mason bees are excellent pollinators and are often touted as being more efficient than honeybees. Of the roughly 150 mason bee types in North America, uh, most are native. There are many types of mason bees over a wide geographic region, so it's possible you have some in your backyards already. Out there. Right out there. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's get started on making our own Mason Bee House project. And as I mentioned, you can find these materials every day in your own house. So what we're going to need today is a medium-sized coffee can. And you're going to want to make sure to grind down any sharp edges. Um, we don't want any of those sharp edges for children helping out with the project or RVs. Two empty toilet paper rolls. Uh, sheets of paper. And I've been saving junk mail. Uh, I've been bringing home some of the recyclables from work. Tape and scissors. And as an option, and especially for engaging your younger bee house uh, builders, uh, paint for your camp. And we made ours look like a bee. Yeah. And lastly, a pencil, uh, which is going to help us with rolling our paper. All right. So we've painted and decorated our can uh, previously. Sienna, did you help paint this one? Yeah. All right. So our can is ready to go. This was a uh, this is a, a metal coffee can. Um, and the next step, we're going to measure the length of our paper, uh, just to be a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter than our can. Trim this paper back a little bit. All right. And then using a pencil, helmets? And using a pencil, we're going to curl our paper. Good job. Good job. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Nice. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to two pieces of tape. All right, hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's get the tape on it and then I'm going to pull the pencil out. Okay, okay. Cece. So, so. All right, can I do the tape, tape on? Tape on the end of the paper. This side is on the end of the side. Maybe we'll both ends. Both ends. Yeah, one at a time. Right there. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Band-aid off there. We're going to have to get a new band aid in just a minute. Alright, let's yeah. get the tape. <laughs> this one. Can I have the tape for the other one? Yeah. Do one more thing with tape. Okay, I'm going to help you. Right, I'm going to pull the pencil out. Pull the pencil out. Let's go the other way. There we go. Ooh. 
Um, the paper roll should look should look like this. And uh, in the interest of time, and to make this video interesting, we have pre-made. Uh, it's approximately 30 of these uh, paper rolls. Uh, the rolls are about a quarter inch to a half an inch each. Uh, don't get too crazy uh, measuring things up. Uh, the important part is that they, they, they fit in their can. <laughs> Sienna, do you want to help with them inside? All right. So step three. We're going to place our toilet paper rolls into our can. Oh, you can do that. Go ahead. You want to put it in? That's one. How about this one? All right. Once our toilet paper rolls are in, we're going to fill the rest of the space with our paper rolls. Mm. Okay, now we can stick them in. Okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> He's excited. You gotta fill it. So he'll have a little home. I guess it goes to fly in food. Yeah. Now, do you put these inside the paper rolls as well? Yeah, we're going to be putting it. We want to give our, our bees lots of spaces mm -hmm. uh, to make their nests. We're going to be filling the toilet paper rolls and the negative space around the toilet paper rolls. Good job, Sam. See, it fills up pretty fast. You got it. Um, you know, without damaging or bending any of the paper. Um, we're going to want things sturdy enough in there so that the paper uh, roll doesn't move around. So we're going to fill up pretty much all of these paper rolls. Uh, once we're done, we'll turn the can uh, upside down. We'll see if anything moves. Um, some web websites also will say to uh, apply a little bit of glue to the bottom. Um, this is a can I want to reuse in the future after some cleaning. So uh, we're not going to glue. We're going to uh, just pack ours in and... I That's think good, that right? uh, glue won't be necessary. Getting a little tight, like a box of crayons here. Okay. All right, let's uh, get a few more in here. Once done, we're going to shake our can slightly just to make sure everything is in place and uh, nothing is falling out. It is looking pretty good. Um, the last step, we're going to find a location for our bee house. Uh, the new bee house needs to be in an open and sunny location, uh, which isn't shaded by plants. Uh, we're going to make sure our bee house is about four feet from the ground. Um, the fixing um, uh, should be secure. Uh, you don't want our, you don't want your bee house to uh, flap in the wind. Um, and lastly, have fun with your bee house. Uh, if you want to try scaling up, uh, educate yourself on the appropriate uh, beekeeping systems and the maintenance uh, for the health of the population. Um, thank you very much for joining us for uh, today's activity. Uh, just a quick uh, shout out and to some of our references, uh, Salt Tree Art, uh, PacificBeachCoalition.org, uh, Wikipedia, and Ecolandscaping.org. <laughs>